Hello kids, this is Neha associated with Aditya Kids Education Channel. Today I am going to touch the topic of globe, a model of earth of class 5. I am pretty sure after watching this video, you will be able to answer the question related to this topic. So let's start. Earth. Do you ever wonder that what exactly the shape of our earth is? Earth is round in shape. It is unique planet. The earth is the only planet to have a life on it. And it is also called blue planet. Okay. It is slightly flat at the poles and bulges in the middle. That is equator. That is why its shape is described as geoid. Okay, see in the picture. The picture shows the rotation of earth. Earth moved around from west to east. Geographers have developed different means of representing the earth on a smaller scale to make it study easy they made globe and maps okay so first we will discuss about globe what is globe the globe is a model of the earth which shows us its different features on a smaller scale the globe shows us the shape and the location of the continents oceans seas on a smaller scale it also shows the shape and location of different countries. Okay. Okay. See in the picture. This picture shows you what the earth looks like. This is a globe. You will notice that a needle is fixed through the globe in a tilted manner. Which is called its axis. Okay, you can only see half of the globe at one time. However, you can turn the globe around to see the other half as I did. Okay. Axis is an imaginary line passing through the earth that points north and south. You can see in the picture, okay. So, see in the picture, earth has two end points. Okay. The northmost point is known as North Pole. And the southmost point is called South Pole. Now, it is easier to locate places on the globe because of the horizontal and vertical lines drawn on it. Horizontal lines are latitudes and vertical lines are longitudes. Let us have a look on them one by one. So first is latitudes. They are also called parallels. Line of a latitude run from east to west direct across earth. The lines of latitudes are measured in degrees and one latitude is a one degree latitude is equals to 111 kilometer okay kilometer you know kilometer is the unit of distance we can calculate the distance by the help of latitude so thus latitude of a place tells us how far is a place from equator okay next Okay, see in the picture, you will see in the picture that latitudes are the numbers start from equator 0 degree and goes to 90 degree that is north and south. The equator represent at the 0 degree latitude. You can see in the picture. Okay, the north pole is at 90 degree north and the south pole is at 90 degree south. Now, what is equator? The equator is the longest and most important line of latitude. 
it runs in the middle of the globe it divides the earth into two equal parts and they are northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere let us have a look on them first one is northern hemisphere the portion which is north of the equator is called northern hemisphere you can also say the area that is above the equator is northern hemisphere the latitudes or parallels in the northern hemisphere are marked 10 degree north 20 degree north 30 degree north and so on now what is southern hemisphere the portion which is south of the equator or below the equator is called southern hemisphere the latitudes that is parallels in the southern hemisphere are marked 10 degree south 20 degree south 30 degree south and so on okay see in the picture can you see the equator line at 0 degree and above the equator it is northern hemisphere and the area above uh, below the equator is southern hemisphere now let us have a look on some important latitudes first one is arctic circle is at 66 and half degree north tropic of cancer 23 degree 23 and half degree north equator you all know equator is at 0 degree tropic of capricorn 23 and half degree south and antarctic circle 66 and half degree south okay now let's see in the picture yes this is arctic circle this and it is 66 and half degree north next is tropic of cancer it is at 23 and half degree north and 0 degree is at equator next is tropic of capricorn it is 23 and half degree south and next is antarctic circle and that is 66 and half degree south and you know 90 degree north is north pole and 90 degree south is south pole now we will learn about lines of longitudes Longitudes are semicircles that join the North Pole to the South Pole. They are also called meridians. Meridians and longitudes are same thing. Okay. Next is meridians or longitudes are also imaginary lines. They are numbered from 0 degree to 180 degree. All meridians are equal in length. Okay. See in the picture you can easily see the lines coming from North Pole to South Pole. And these lines are called longitudes or meridians. Okay. And most important 1 degree longitude is equals to 4 minutes. So here minutes is the unit of yes time so we can calculate the time of different places with the help of longitudes okay next is prime meridian the meridian passing through greenwich greenwich is a place so the meridian passing through greenwich near london is taken as a straight line it is zero degree longitude it is called prime meridian okay longitudes to the east of greenwich are east longitudes and those to the west are west longitudes now see in the picture what can you see in the center see in the center north pole and a south pole one line is straight line is going and this line is known as prime meridian and it is at zero degree longitude so now see here in the east side the longitudes in the east sides are known as east longitudes 
and those longitudes to the west of the Greenwich are called west longitudes. Longitudes are 360 in numbers. 180 longitudes to the west of the prime meridian and 180 longitudes to the east of the prime meridian. Now some important longitudes. First one is 0 degree longitude and it is prime meridian and it passing through London. Second one is 180 degree east west longitude and it is international date line and it passes through Bering Strait. The third one is 82 and half degree east longitude and that is Indian standard time and it passed through Mirjapur UP. Now what is greed? The latitudes and longitudes intersect each other at the right angle that is 90 degree and form a network. This network is called the grid. Okay. See in the picture. You can see parallel lines. Parallel lines means yes it is latitudes. And you can also see meridians and they are longitudes. They are intersecting each other. By this, the network is formed and it is grid. Okay. You can also see the North Pole, South Pole, Equator. Okay. One more thing. The grid help us in locating places and countries. For example, if we want to locate India, we must know its latitude and longitude. And India is located at 8 degree to 37 degree north latitude and 68 degree to 97 degree east longitudes. So this was all about globe. So if you like this video please like, share and subscribe my channel and also be continue with my channel. I will be back with a new topic. Okay. Bye kids.